dear students assalamu alaikum welcome to army public school pma kakul abitabad resource network i am your teacher safina jahanzeb students before we start our today's subject which is science please subscribe the page and click the bell icon students in our today's subject we are going to discuss about the second chapter of the book which is introducing habitat students we will read we will discuss about all types of habitats in detail students now in this slide we are going to discuss about the second chapter of the book which name is introducing habitats students before starting our today's lecture we will give a short overview about that points which we are going to discuss today first of all we will define definition of the habitat with examples afterwards we will define or we will describe all those common habitats which are existing in the world in these habitats first of all we will discuss about the pond habitat second one sea shore habitat then mangrove habitat and in last we will discuss we will describe about the garden habitat after describing all these habitats we will do some activities in first activity we will match some habitats with their relative organisms and in second activity we will answer some those short questions which are relating our today's topic students now here we are going to discuss about the definition of the habitat which we already defined in previous lecture so according to this web according to this diagram the simplest definition of the habitat is a place where different groups of organism live interact and reproduce now we are going to try focus on the factors of any habitat habitat has factors which are different in different habitats as we know every habitat has their own factors and these factors are going to differentiate one habitat from the other habitat same like habitat has factors which determine types of organisms living there and same these factors are going to determine the organism of any habitat so the factors like light temperature air and other all factors of any habitat define the nature of organisms which can survive in that habitat students here in this slide we will define the definition of habitat in simple words what is habitat students we know in our previous lecture we have briefly discussed the definition of habitat with examples so habitat is a place for shelter to any animal plant and all living organisms examples of habitat grassland habitat 
seashore habitat forest land habitat pond habitat garden habitat and mangrove habitat now the facts about habitats are habitats can be huge like forests or can be much smaller like a burrow students in this diagram we can see a clear and well defined picture of all types of habitats every habitat is different in nature from other habitats here desert habitat is present forest land habitat seashore habitat pond habitat grassland habitat all types of habitats are existing in this picture picture number 2 here a group of animals or a group of organism is existing in a grassland so we can say this habitat or this grassland habitat is most favorable place for these organisms in last picture we can see a sea habitat here fishes are present different types of plants are existing and all other types of organisms are existing in this habitat so in this way we can say it is a favorable or a suitable habitat to all types of organisms students now we are going to discuss about some those common habitats which are present in the world as we know every habitat is its own properties organisms and factors which makes it differentiate from other habitats so in this regard the first habitat which we are going to discuss today is pond habitat first of all we will describe the nature of that habitat then we will see climate or temperature of the pond habitat and in last we will discuss the organisms which are existing in pond habitat so in description the pond habitat includes a small fresh water area that is still or not moving and is surrounded by land now climate or temperature of pond habitat is the temperature of any pond habitat is generally warm and highly humid and in last the organisms which can exist in pond habitat are frog water spider small fishes worms snails and other insects students in diagram number 1 we can see there are lots of organisms insects which are existing in pond habitat here we can see frog is present snake turtle birds and many other organisms which are existing in pond habitat in this diagram number 2 we can see a small fresh water area which is not movable so it's called pond habitat here insects are present snails turtle dragonfly 
tadpoles and lots of types of plants are existing so in this way we can say it is a favorable or it is a suitable environment or habitat for all these type of organisms seashore habitat students now we are going to discuss an other type of habitat which is seashore habitat first of all we will describe the nature of habitat so seashore is the habitat right next to the ocean or sea and it can be rocky and soft sandy area temperature normally temperature of seashore habitat varies with season but it is warm and highly humid habitat now organisms of seashore habitats are seagull starfish algae which is a plant crabs jellyfish and shells students in these two pictures a specific type of habitat is described we can see through organisms we can see nature of the habitat it is seashore habitat students the organisms which are existing in seashore habitats can live inside and outside the water here we can see starfish crab jellyfish seagull and lots of other snails which are existing in seashore habitat students now we are going to discuss an other type of habitat which is mangrove habitat so first of all we will describe nature of this habitat so in description mangrove habitat is generally small forests exist near the river or coastal lines climate or temperature temperature of this habitat is very high and rate of rainfall is very high as well soil of this habitat is much muddy now those organisms which are present in mangrove habitats are monkey sea snake alligator crabs fishes spiders and different worms students in this first picture we can see a site of mangrove habitat here we can see a huge forest which is present near the water resources so in this way we can see we can discuss that mangrove habitat is basically a huge type of habitat which is existing near the water resources like river or coastal lines in second picture of this slide is about the organism which is existing in mangrove habitat so this alligator describe the nature of mangrove habitat students now we will discuss an other type of habitat which is garden habitat students we will describe this type of habitat we will discuss about the temperature or climate of garden habitat 
and in last we will discuss about all those organisms which are going to exist in garden habitat so first of all the definition or description of garden habitat is garden habitat is that habitat which occupies a small area and contains variety of organisms climate or temperature of garden habitat is garden habitat is basically moderate and very pleasant garden habitat is very favorable for insects organism and in last the types of organisms which are existing in garden habitats are centipede scorpion fungi earthworm butterfly different trees and plants and grasshopper student here a very fascinating picture of butterfly is present as we observe the butterfly in every type of garden habitat in diagram we can see the organisms which are existing in the garden habitat here grasshopper butterfly snails centipede dragonfly beetle earthworm spider and lots of other organisms like birds insects microorganisms all these are existing and it's the favorable habitat for these organisms students now in these slides we have arranged some activities to make sure your involvement in today's lecture so in activity number 1 we have arranged a table in which two columns are present in column 1 there are some organisms and in column 2 there are some habitat now we will try to match these organisms with their relative habitats so first of all there is frog frog belongs to pond habitat starfish seashore habitat earthworm garden habitat camel desert habitat penguin belongs to arctic habitat dragonfly mangrove habitat and dove belongs to garden and mangrove habitat students now it's your task your assignment please try to make a table and arrange all organisms and habitat in that table and try to match the organisms with their relative habitat in this way you will be able to define the exact habitat of that organisms students now in this slide we have an other and last activity of the day where we will answer some short questions in single lines so let's start our today's last activity where we will answer this question in single line question number 1 name the organisms that are found in her pond habitat answer is frog water spider duck small turtles dragonflies mosquitoes and water snails are organisms which are found in a pond habitat question number 2 honey bee belongs to which type of habitat answer is honey bee belongs to garden habitat question number 3 do all types of fishes live in pond 
and why? Answer is, fishes live in different types of habitats according to their needs. Some fishes live in pond, some in ocean and some in mangrove habitat. Question number 4. Where do earthworms live? What is its habitat? Answer is, earthworm normally lives in loose soil. So the favorable habitat to an earthworm is garden and pond habitats. And the last question of the activity number two is, where does algae belong to? Algae belongs to pond habitat. So students, it was our lecture for today. Hopefully, you have gained lot of information through this lecture. So, I will say goodbye to everyone with these lines. Please keep remember me in your prayers and Allah is.